Do you prefer to give or receive and why? Mm, juicy. You know what I'm saying? What zodiac sign are you compatible with? Um, in my time of dating, I would say awkwardly I am compatible with. I guess when I'm when I'm when I'm getting it, I'm, let, let me see, let me see. So if I'm just. Here. What's good, Goody Mob? It's your girl Slim Goody, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And as you can tell by the title, it is another Q&A, or well, an updated Q&A. I asked you guys to drop some questions for me, and you guys dropped some questions. i tell you that. There's some good questions. I looked through them, and y'all got some good questions. Some juicy, some that's got me thinking, you know what I'm saying? You, got me, you guys have me thinking about these questions, you know what I'm saying? So that's a good thing. But before we get into this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel right now. And uh, if you're new to the family, welcome to the family. You made a good decision, Jake. Thank you, Cubby. Thank you for oh, joining the family, joining Goody Mob. <clears throat> and if you haven't yet, go ahead and look in the description and get your Goody merch now. I have Goody merch now. I have it now. Meaning that I have the hoodies. You can be just like Slim Goody and have the hoodie. And then you can have the sweatpants. You have track suits, Goody Mob track suits. And if you want the colors, just when you uh, order your your hoodies or your track suits, DM me or if, on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram. If you're not, go follow me. Or you can email me at the email in the description in below. And you can, we can discuss colors. It's, colors go by... by um, as you order so it, you just I just never know so yeah. yeah let's get into this video first question what is your biggest pet peeve I hate repeating myself I don't like I don't like it at all like I need you to hear what I'm saying and granted yes I do my talk I might talk a little fast and I, you know what I'm saying I, I I'm working on it though but I need you to hear me next question what inspires you the most is me, really, and my family. And the people that um, now, that the people that I'm around now, they inspire me to do more and, um, with you know, with my talent, with myself in general. That is what inspires me um, in that aspect. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um, you know, my favorite childhood memory was... Playing basketball, uh, chilling with the crew, doing stupid stuff. Like we, used to, I used to jump. We used to like jump from like, you know how apartment buildings have the stairs, and you have to go up like at least a lot of stairs, right? We used to judge all each other. Me and my brother and a couple, and you know, I used to hang with boys a lot when I was growing up. I hung out with a majority of boys growing up. So what we used to do is we used to do boy stuff. And that consists of us jumping and seeing who can jump off the highest stair, uh, stairwell and land on their feet. So we, I used to do stupid stuff like that. But that was fun. You know what I'm saying? So I like doing that. Was, that, was a, that was a good time. What do you do whenever you are not working? Well, as of right now, I am currently working majority of the day. As y'all can see, I'm working now. Um, but when I'm not working, I'm damn near focusing on myself, meditating. I'll go hiking. I'll go chill with my homies or whatever whenever uh, they're not doing anything and not working. Because everybody that I hang out with, we're, all, we're always working. And I'll go to the movie. I'll watch movies. I'll uh, smoke. I'll drink. And chill, you know what I'm saying? Just just be reflecting. When I'm not working, I need the time to just reflect on what I just did. Or what the the, the week that I just got finished. I gotta get that week off of me, and then I gotta refocus my mind on what's ahead for the next week. So, yeah. Um, do you want to get married and have kids? Honestly, guys, when I was growing up, I've never seen myself getting married. Um... And having kids, I've always wanted kids. Um, I've loved kids. Kids love me. 
uh, I would know I would have a sexy kid. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I mean, I mean really look at me. Yeah, I would have a sexy kid. So, but the whole childbirth thing, uh, I ain't gonna catch you guys. It freaks me the hell out. I'm scared. I'm a whole virgin, so I, I just, I'm just, I don't know. It's a mental thing. I just can't get with it. I do want to have kids. I do want to bear. Uh, at least I did want to bear a kid before, but as I got older, I'm 30 years old now, so it's kind of just like, ooh, if I have kids, it would be because I got me a fem, a woman who has kids, or a woman who I could put my eggs in, and or she would bear the kid for me. It, that's just gonna be have to, you know, what I'm saying that's just gonna have to be how that ha happens. But do I want to get married? Yes, I would love to get married, but. I, I don't know. It's the only time will tell. You know what I'm saying? The only time will tell and the right woman to come around. Would I ever date a woman with kids? Yes, I would. I would. I have before. Uh, how long have you been single? I have been single for seven months now. About as long as the relationship lasted. And I'm enjoying being single. Who is the lightweight in the group? I would say the lightweight out of the group would be TT. Sis, you're a lightweight, but it's cool because you're a fun lightweight. You're funny when you're a lightweight. I would have thought I would have been a lightweight. And they probably thought I was a lightweight. But no, I, I just be sipping. I don't even drink like that. But when I drink, I drink. When I'm in the mood to drink. And it's just I just know I know I know how to get myself where I need to be if I'm drinking. Do you prefer to give or receive and why? Mm. Juicy. I I prefer both, but I more so prefer to give. I'm I'm big on pleasing. I love to please the person that I'm, you know, in company with. How long you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for about going on a year now. It'll be a year, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? I think I started December 2019, officially. Yeah, my first video was in December, so. Show your girl some love. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. And next question. What zodiac sign are you compatible with? Um, in my time of dating, I would say awkwardly, I am compatible with a Leo. Um, I'm compatible to with. They say I'm compatible with an Aries. I've dated Aries before. I can see why they could say we're uh, compatible. It's just when an Aries gets too heated, it's it's, it's like, all right, bro, I'm we gonna. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I mean, I, and I find myself being slightly compatible to a cancer. It just depends. I haven't full, fully dated a cancer, so I wouldn't, I'm not, I, but I've, I mean, I've dated a cancer, but I have not been with a cancer. So I think that's, that, that would kind of match well. Uh, my dream house. Uh, I want to build my house. I want to have, I want to eventually build my house um, from the ground up. I want to buy the land and then buy the house. I mean, and build the house on the land that I bought. Because if y'all don't know, it ain't always about the house. It's about the land that's on the house. I mean, the house, the land that the house is built on. That matters because, you know what I'm saying? It's your land. It's, it's your property. No one can mess with you on your property legally. Um, so that's, that's, that's the start of that. I want my dream house. I kind of... I want to be close to some water, but then not necessarily because of I don't want to be caught up in no hurricanes and tsunamis. So if I'm in by if I in by some water, I'm definitely gonna be waterproof. That house is gonna definitely be boarded the hell. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be sturdy. But I don't know. That's a good one. I just know it's gonna be built. I need a, a nice a nice brick house, if not brick brick and glass. I don't know yet. I don't know yet to be honest. What is your favorite position with a strap? <laughs> Y'all nasty. What is my favorite position with a strap? It would have to be 
I guess when I'm when I'm when I'm getting it, I'm, let, let me see, let me see. So if I'm just. That's a good question, cause I, I like missionary, and then I like, uh, doc, you know what I'm saying, face down, answer. I do like that, and, but then it's like I can really get it good on the good missionary. Then I can really get it real good on the from the side too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's a good one. Between one, of the three of those, those are my favorite positions. It. You gonna hit, you gonna get hit with all three of them. That's just, you know what I'm saying? Next question. Y'all can't be having me thinking about sex right now. Uh, how did you grow up, parents, siblings? When did, when did you come out? When were you at first attracted to grow, to a woman? Whew. That's a lot of questions in one. How did I grow up? I grew up good. I grew up with both of my parents. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, people think that living with two parents is always peachy and clean. It has its cons, living with both parents all your life, the whole life. But the biggest pro is that you actually see the hardships and the love and the sacrifices that two people make with having to be with each other for so long. My parents have been married damn near almost 30, 30 years now. So, it's, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, I, I I like how I grew up. I grew up uh, in a sense being real real love. I grew up on love more than a lot of people will say survival. I had to teach. I taught myself survival as well as my mom and my dad taught me certain skills that I, I mean the skills that I needed to go out there to be by myself. You know to be thrown out there. But and then I was I was I was uh I was pretty much loved. And some will say I was probably loved too much, but that's just, hey, what it is. Siblings, I have four brothers. I'm the only female. I'm the only daughter. I have four brothers. I love all my brothers. I grew up with my uh, youngest brother. I grew up knowing my brother, my older brothers. And I'm just now getting, you know, rekindling with my older brothers that I haven't, you know, grew knew, knew when I was younger. So that's a good thing. Uh, when did I come out? I came out in 2000 in, I want to say seven or, seven or eight. Yeah, seven or eight, I think I came out. It was either before I graduated from high school or after. But I think it was in between that. It was, I think it was in the transition of it. Uh, if you don't know about that video, the video is on my channel on how I came out, what happened when I came out, blah, 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 that story. Uh, when were you first attracted to, fem uh, to a woman? I was first attracted to a woman when I was in elementary school. Yeah. I remember like it was yesterday. It was, it was a girl that I would not name, but it was, she's, I just, I don't even remember her name to be honest with you. I'm bad with names. Uh, and we were playing and I just realized that I was just really attracted to her. I wanted to be her friend in the midst of me wanting to be her friend. I realized that I kind of wanted to love me more. You know what I'm saying? I was a little stingy. But then, you know what I'm saying? I, did, I, was, I'm, I was a very quiet child as I am still a very quiet person until you get to know me. Are you on a healthy eating journey? I, I'm off and on. I'm not really uh, committed to that yet. I want to be. I want to be able to be committed to uh, the eating the healthy because I am 30 and it's about time for me to kick in those type of habits. But I just can't get rid of the dairy. I can't. Re I can't get rid of cheese. I'm not really supposed to be eating that, but I'm, I'm eating it anyways. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm working on it. I got a uh, royalty and TT. They be on this whole vegan stuff. So I, when I'm with them, I, I'm on. I'm eating vegan chicken. So I'm working on it. You know, I'm working on it. I, I'm eating my. I take my vitamins when I can see. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go give me some more. But I'm, I'm taking my vitamins when I'm not on a day to day basis. But when you know what I'm saying? I feel like I need to. That's bad. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I want to be on it. Have you ever been a lesbian? Or have you been with a guy before? Um, I have had boyfriends. Uh, they, you know, what I'm saying? we we never did anything sexually. If that's what you're talking about, 
I just been I've just had boyfriends because I wanted to see if I actually were was that way and my parents were opposed to that type of lifestyle and I knew that so I was trying to, in, to find myself in the midst of pleasing them so I was literally just testing the waters to see if I was really all about this lesbian lifestyle and it comes to find out I'm all about this lesbian lifestyle this is just what it is men does not nothing to not, they do not do anything for me I could say, say that a man is is fine uh, handsome not fine but he's handsome I could say that you know what I'm saying I admire when I look at a man I admire them and how they dress so when a man I see a man that's dressed well I admire how they dress I admire how they carry themselves you know what I'm saying the right way I look at how they you know what I'm saying, man in the house, be a man in the household. I look at that, I admire a man in that way, but not in a way where I want to be with him. You know what I'm saying? But as far as a woman, I love everything about a woman. It ain't everything for me. The way that a woman does, a man can't make, does not, they do not make me feel at all. I don't get butterflies, I don't get none of that. It, no. There's nothing for me. Dream car. My dream car is a BMW. I love BMWs. I, um, it's just what it is. I have, I had a BMW, but I just recently got rid of it. It was, it was a 2006. It was giving me problems. It had to go. I do want to get an i8. I want to get, or some type of BMW later on in the future. But right now, if you don't have the funds for a BMW that is not up to date, at least, it's not, it's just not, it's not, it's not worth it. So, back to the drawing board for me. Back to, you know, my second option. But that's my dream car. Or, and then I also want to get a old school Chevy or an old school uh, Mustang for it. Like the old school, like the 90 cars or the 80s, 70s cars. Like I want to get one of those, the classic cars. It's also one of my dream cars. I love sports cars, so everything, any car type of car that I do have is going to more than likely be a sports unless it's, or it's gonna have, yeah, it's more like it's gonna have, it's gonna be a sports. Unless I just get probably get, I'm probably gonna have maybe about two luxury cars or one luxury car, one luxury car and everything else is gonna be sports. I don't know. I feel, I'm like NASCAR racer when I'm behind the wheel. I like to that speed. I like to I'm I like cars. Where do you see yourself in five years as far as a career goes? Um, I see myself in five years. Uh, with my own production company. I see Visionary Dreams being a whole corporation. I see myself having a, two, another business. I want to say two other businesses as an LLC under my belt. And I see myself completely happy doing exactly what I love to do. Instead of working from a DSL camera, I will be upgrading to better cameras and better editing footages and stuff like that. Like that is my dream. I want to have my own production company, so you can come get photos taken, film, editing, everything in one building. Build sets on there, everything. I want to do all of that. Uh, favorite animal. Right now, my favorite animal is a dog. I have a dog. My favorite. My favorite animal is a monkey dog, and I love oh, I love turtles. How old were you when you first moved out on your own? I was. That was what two thousand and. I think I was like 20, 20, I think I was 20, if not younger than that, it was about around that age, I was, I was having my own spot and I moved, I had got my own crib, um, with my, uh, co-workers at the time, I got my own crib for about a couple of years, and then I eventually moved in with the girl that I was with at that time as well, and we ended up getting our own spot. But shit happened, and I had to move back to the crib. And I prom I swore vows myself that I wasn't gonna rush into moving out without it being solid enough for me to, you know, stay out. So 
yeah, that's just that. Favorite holiday, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Uh, I love Thanksgiving, and I think, honestly, I think also New Year's is like my, my, one of my favorite holidays, only because I like that whole new, changing, having a new leaf thing. I like the transitions. So that's also become one of my favorite holidays. But Thanksgiving is definitely one. Uh, you get to eat good food. And I just love holidays in general around that time because that's when I love to be around my grandmother and my aunties and my cousins. Song that you have to listen to in your car, in the car. See, now that's the tricky question because I have a tricky uh, song selection. I, I It just depends on the mood. But I have to definitely be listening to, right now, I have to listen to my artist. I'm going to just say name my artist. I have to listen to at least uh, Tusi, the Love Cycle. Like, not, the, that's, not the, necessarily the song, but his him in general. And L Young Blue. Uh, favorite place to go for peace. I love to go anywhere that is near water, beaches, hiking to the to waterfalls anything by water that is where i find my most inner peace that is where i go to recenter myself that is where i go to reflect that is where i go to let go that's where i do everything at as far as me and i inspire everybody that, that is close to me to do the same or find somewhere that something that will make them feel the, the way that water makes me uh favorite dish to cook anything seafood really seafood is my dish y'all ain't gave me hella questions i'm so i'm trying I'm, i want to answer all these questions for you guys but y'all got y'all gave me a lot of questions would you rather swim in a ice cold lake or sit in an ice cold bath for 15 minutes Shawty, I'm, I'm sitting in the ice cold bath for 15 minutes. I don't like cold water at all. The fact that you had put ice cold water and I'm and my body is in it, it's just a turn off for me. I can't do it. I love the cold, but I don't put me in cold water. If that makes you know what I'm saying, I, it's just not it. So I'll take that cold water bath. I mean the ice cold bath for 15 minutes. I do that and I will take a shower right after that. A hot shower. Yeah, you got you tripping. What food makes you dance? Once it's in your mouth, I would say anything with cheese, sour cream, anything like I can put that type of blend in. You know what I'm saying? That mix in, it's over with. Favorite season? Winter? No, spring. Yes, yeah, winter and spring is my two favorite seasons. Right now, winter is is one cold cold person right now so just, right now I'm wishing on spring summer can kiss my ass um, what kind of what type of music can bring you peace jazz neo soul bring me peace I can't listen to that rap and all that other stuff when I'm mad or anything like that because it just it hypes me up more do you have a spiritual practice if so what is it my spiritual practice right now is meditating. I like to meditate. I like to listen to my thoughts. It's very important to listen to your thoughts. It's very important to listen to your heart. A lot of people run from listening from their heart thinking it's just gonna, it's their weakness. And really that's the strongest muscle in your fucking body right now. I mean, in general. Your mind is for the logic to, to correct where the heart slips. And I've learned through meditating um, the that last couple of days, when yeah, the last couple of days when I was meditating, I learned that me personally, I allowed my emotions blind my third eye, the logic. So uh, therefore, I s dwell in them. Like I said, and also going to, to water. Um, and when I go need go when I go to water, that's also another gain of spiritual practice. And I, would you get shot? Would you rather get shot in your foot or your writing hand? Um, sis, I'll get shot in my foot only because I've, I've I experienced my foot, my toe being broken. 
I can heal from that. But my writing hand, I need my hand for editing. I need my, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a valuable, this is a very valuable tool. So, I can't get shot in my hand. But my foot, go ahead and take, go ahead and shoot me there. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and shoot me in the toe. You can shoot me in, in the foot. Um, that's going to hurt like a mug, but I'd rather just be the, the foot than the hand. But anyways, y'all, that's the, that's the, um, all the questions that I can answer for you guys. Well, that's all the questions that you guys asked me today. And excuse the energy. I just lost my friend yesterday, so I just wanted to go ahead and get this video to you guys. And I know he would want me to do it anyway, so. Well, that's all the questions for you guys today. And... Uh, good questions, y'all. Y'all, you guys made me think about the questions. Y'all, you guys made me think about. You know what I'm saying? I, some of the things that I never actually fully, full on thought about. So, I was pretty dope. I appreciate the questions. I appreciate the love. If y'all haven't, like I said in the beginning, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell. And I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And we on to the next video. Bye bye.